This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. We're looking at a relatively new uh, effects processor today, uh, multi-effects, amp modeler, that kind of thing. Uh, from the budget end of the market, it is this one, the Sonic Ake Matrybox. Um, I think these cost about £100 on Amazon. Um, or thereabouts, basically that sort of uh, ballpark figure. Um, this one doesn't belong to me, this belongs to a student of mine called Craig, who loaned me this ages ago, and I've just had so much uh, stuff to get done uh, that had deadlines to it, uh, like those Faisley guitars that I've been running through uh, recently, um, you know, that I... Um, that I had to put this on the bit of, on the back burner a little bit. Sorry, Craig, and thank you for your patience. Um, so, what have we got here then? Well, all the usual kind of things, really, amp modelling and all the usual kind of uh, modulation, delay, kind of drive effects, all that sort of stuff. Of course, you know all of that. Uh, you know, this sort of stuff is uh, pretty much uh, standard fare these days. The reason why you're watching a video about this little unit is because you want to know what it sounds like. So, we're going to get to that straight away. Now, obviously, um, unless I was going to make like a three and a half hour video, uh, I can't show you what all of the presets sound like. But here's a little sample of some of them. So a good range of tones there, um, you know, uh, I, I quite like that uh, that jazz tone that was on there, that, um, that sounded very pleasing to my ears, and the modern lead as well. Um, many of the presets in a unit like this are, you know, kind of ridiculous, or I, I would say ridiculously over the top in terms of how much, um, you know, modulation and reverb and delay they've got on, um, but it is uh, very, very easy to edit them, as I shall now demonstrate. Okay, powering the unit up, this is what we see, uh, preset 01 Matry Box, and um, let's have a listen to what that sounds like, shall we? <laughs> So a big 
overdriven, distorted, dirty guitar tone with um, perhaps a little bit too much delay on for my liking. So we're going to hit this parameter button here and that takes us into the signal chain like this. And you can see we've got FX1, FX2, essentially a couple of pedals that are coming before the amp, which is here. Uh, noise reduction, uh, various different types of IRs for cabinets and stuff there. Um, equalization, modulation effects, delay, reverb, etc. So if we go back to this um, effect 2 thing here, you can see it's got a tube screamer on there. So first thing I want to do is just turn it off using that there. And um, that's now giving us this kind of tone. Oops, turn the guitar volume back up. <laughs> Okay, that's getting more towards my idea of a, a nice crunchy tone, but we're going to just go in and have a look at the amp as well. So we're gonna, I'm going to have to kind of get my finger in the way here, I'm sorry. Um, we're just going to scroll through the different amp, amps available. You can see we've got Engle, and if I come in from this angle, maybe. Yeah, it's a bit better, isn't it? Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, Brit 800, yes. JCM 800, let's see what that, uh, that's sounding like. That's got a nice kind of martial kind of grunt about it. Um, just want to calm that delay down a little bit, so we'll go in here and see what effects we can uh, muster on here. So what, what, um, what can we do there? Let's turn the feedback down a little and let's turn the time down a bit as well 20 that's more the kind of um yeah that's just a kind of nice thickener of um of a delay sound So I'm happy with that now. I'd probably tweak it forever if um, if I had the time. What I'm going to do is just save it by hitting the save button. And then save again. Like that. And that has now saved that preset. And if I use the two foot switches, which are out of shot here, um, to go up to this one... Uh, preset zero two, and then back to where I was on preset zero one. It's remembered my settings, so you know it's it is a question of staring and squinting into a screen and, and everything, but it is fairly intuitive, I, I suppose. It's about as um, as good as you're ever going to get on a system like this or on an interface like this. Personally, my preference is just to have some knobs to turn. Always has been, always will be. But uh, I could live with this uh, interface rather than, you know, scrolling through menus and um, and all of that kind of stuff. So, yeah, um, I'm going to say that this is a fairly intuitive uh, thing to edit. And I've got to tell you, I'm quite enjoying this kind of sound as well. <laughs> That is a nice, crunchy, martial-y kind of tone that I could happily record with. So I think I'm probably going to end up doing that. So that is, you know, simplicity itself, even for an old technophobe like me that, um, you know, much prefers the old analog approach of turning a knob. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's. I didn't find this intimidating to get to grips with. Um, you know, um, the, the 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 way the signal chain is laid out in this little window here. Yes, you are still squinting into a little window. Not the kind of thing you want to be doing between songs at a gig, but you know, you do all your homework first and and get all that sort of stuff sorted. What I do like is the fact that we have a volume control. No, it's not, that's the volume control there. Um, so you, you you don't have to uh, you know kind of scroll through things and use up and down arrows and and that kind of thing if you just want to kind of uh, adjust the volume quick uh, quickly um one of the other aces up its sleeve that this unit has is that you can also use it to uh, record your guitar to your pc um you know which is uh, a nice little bonus so let's have a little bit of a look at how you do that now to run it as a recording interface uh 
it's you've got this USB-C cable you plug that into there and then what I've got here is I've got just got like a little audio stereo audio cable no it's the power cable where's the stereo audio cable gone to um, bear with me it's uh, it's around somewhere here it is there we go that was the power cable um, stereo audio cable I ran that into the uh, headphones uh, out socket and then the other end of that is going into the auxiliary in on my uh, powered monitors there and uh, once you've got all the kind of hardware elements of it uh, hooked up like that uh, you need to kind of think about how you're going to um, basically get it uh, connecting and, and kind of talking to your computer and that is what's coming next okay this is uh reaper my uh, go-to recording software daw or daw or whatever you want to call it and uh, usually when i'm recording into this software i'm using the uh, behringer euphoria interface cheap and cheap a little interface um and it, well it's always just worked fine for me so that's that's what i use um uh, that little device runs on the ASIO uh, audio system, uh, audio stream input output, um, but the Sonic Ake uh, Matrix Box doesn't. So we need to change a setting, and uh, basically wherever the settings relevant menu is on in your DAW, mine is. Uh, well, you've just seen where it is on in reaper uh you go to there and you change the audio system from asio to wasapi and you can see now this uh, little dialogue down here tells me that my input device is matrix audio and my speakers are matrix audio so i'm just gonna okay that i've got this track here armed to record and uh because we get a stereo um output from the matrix box i make sure that i as you can see there i've got the uh, stereo inputs going into that track there so all being well i should now be able to uh, pick up my guitar and um, record some audio onto that track uh, let's see if that works hopefully everything is fine so we'll just hit record up here and see what we get <laughs> And that is indeed, um, you know, uh, recorded the audio. It looks to have done it rather quietly, though. I'm not sure what's going on there. Perhaps there'll be some setting in the matrix box that I can um, that I can change, or maybe just you know I can normalise this to to bring the level up and uh, you know kind of fix it in Reaper. But that is basically the concept of uh, proof of concept, if you like, of how you uh, hook up the um, the 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 matrix box to uh, reaper let's just make sure that has recorded okay let's play it back <laughs> That seems to have worked, um, as you can probably tell from listening to that, I need to cut my fingernails. Uh, but that is, as I say, how it all uh, hooks up um, for recording purposes. And there you have it. Um, I haven't looked at the drum machine or anything like that, or the looper or anything like this, like that on here, uh, because basically that's not really... Um, I, I, I find that all of the drum boxes and stuff in these kind of things are all pretty much of a muchness. You've heard one, you've heard them all. And, you know, the looper function... Um, you know is it's well it's just going to be a looper isn't it and i've done videos on those in the past um but you know in terms of the tones that's what we're really interested in with a little unit like this and i think it acquits itself reasonably well one thing i will say is that when i was playing some of those samples that you heard earlier um it it sounded really good when i was when i was playing it when i was actually playing it but then when i listened to the recording back it just had a little bit of a sheen of syntheticness if there is such a word to it um, and i've noticed that before sometimes with um with these kind of modelers come interfaces um i noticed it a little bit with the um what was it the new x mighty plug 
um, I seem to recall, and um, that Moa P1 Prime has suffered from a little bit from that as well. Uh, but that's just my experience. Your mileage may vary. Coming up on Sunday, I'm going to be uh, using this little piece of kit here to put together a full track. All the guitar tones and everything will be uh, generated via this little uh, piece of kit here, so we can see what these sounds like sound what these sounds sound like when we put them into a mix with um, you know bass and drums and all that sort of stuff but that is coming up on sunday and that is very much the video for today i want to say a massive thank you to craig for the extended loan of this lovely little bit of kit uh, thank you craig and thank you for watching um hope you've enjoyed the video and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars and a whole range of other things great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you very much for your time thanks for watching uh, look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now